So my father used to always tell me something which I want to share with you. That why do you want to fit inside a glass slipper? You know, like we were told, like Cinderella did. Why do you want to fit inside a glass slipper when you can shatter the glass ceiling? I want to tell you a little secret. I'm not very fond of this phrase breaking the glass ceiling. Why does it annoy me? Because it takes the context of everything that I have done, all my achievements, all my hard work, and puts it into a box. As if my ambition was, "Kere, I want to find a glass ceiling and break it." Not at all. To be really honest, I was never in a mission to break, to shatter anything. All I wanted was to chase my dreams, my ambitions. I wanted to evolve. I wanted to become the best version. Of me, that I could be, and of course, in Priyanka Chopra style, along the way, I wanted to smash and break every obstacle that came my way, which I did. But that does not mean that the glass ceiling doesn't exist. Of course, it exists, and countless of women and men, mostly women, run into it in their professional and personal lives. And I'm sure a lot of you can vouch for that right now. The Oxford Dictionary definition of the glass ceiling is. An unacknowledged barrier to advancement in a profession, especially affecting women and members of minorities, from rising beyond a certain level in a hierarchy. And this metaphor was first coined by feminists in reference to barriers in careers of high-achieving women. So why did I choose it as my topic for today? If I hated it so much, because I hope. Through my experiences, I can present to you the tools to live your dream and to not make that glass ceiling that is defined by society largely patriarchal as your goal. I want you to aim higher because you know you can, and it's honestly all I did. Every step of the way, all I did was set a higher standard. How did I get here? By being fierce. By being fearless, and by being flawed, completely and utterly flawed, I'm not perfect, like none of us are. So tonight, I'm going to try and break it down for you a little bit in a slightly different way. I present the twelve sure shot, sure fire ways of becoming Priyanka Chopra. Would you like that? Sorry, I was just kidding because us millennials, we don't like to be told what to do. So this is a gentle nudge in the right direction, presenting PC's 12 rules of becoming the best version of yourself. So here are a few of my favorites from my list. There's only one you, okay? Because there's no one like you, and I don't mean the superfluous, superficial parts. I'm talking about the core of you, who you are inside, your values, your beliefs, your flaws, and once you understand who really that person is, you would have made taken the first step in finding your unique self, and that is the best version of you. Who am I really? Most often, we don't allow ourselves the ability to dream beyond our imagination.